What is good my beautiful producers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what is the best software or DAW that you can use if you're just starting off to make beats or you just maybe wanna switch different softwares. I don't know, but let's just talk about it a little bit. So let's get straight to this video. Bless those keys, the RMC. Okay, really to not make this video so long, it really comes down to two things. One, budget. Two, if you got a PC or a Mac. Why do I say budget? because usually when you're starting off to make beats most of the cases you don't have a lot of money and you just want to start off maybe you just want to try it out and you're not sure if you really want to get into it fully and of course there's the other case that you already have a dollar of software and you just want to upgrade or are you just trying to just see the difference between the DAWs, right so a little backstory of mine i started off on GarageBand, and i didn't last too long on GarageBand. but i will say that GarageBand is a very very good choice if you're on mac now you cannot get GarageBand on PC. That's why I said if you have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, whatever it is that you have, usually they come installed with the GarageBand already, but if it doesn't, you can purchase it for only $30, which is very affordable if you really wanna try it out. And it's a full-time purchase, you're never gonna have to pay those $30 ever again. So if you really thought about making music and making beats, GarageBand is a very good choice. I started off on that and I really liked it. I never had any issues with it. Now, if you have a PC, that's a little bit different. You cannot download GarageBand on PC, like I said before, but there is another DAW that you can use and it's Ableton, but not Ableton, the Live 10 version, because that one's like 449 when you really want to purchase the whole thing. But if you want to dive into just trying out things, Ableton Lite has a version absolutely free. You can go ahead and download it right now on your PC. I think Ableton Lite is a really good choice to use when you're just starting off to make beats and you're just trying out things. Because then eventually when you really start taking music a little bit more seriously, you're gonna invest more money into it and then you're gonna waste a little bit more. But if you're just trying it out for the first time, then you might just wanna download the free trial and try it out for the first time and see if you like it or not. Now another DAW software program that you can download also as well using a PC, and this one's gonna cost you a little bit more, is FL Studio. Now, FL Studio is a little bit more of the standard now that most producers use. I know most of you guys that are looking into making beats see a lot of producers on FL Studio, and that's because it's just become the standard DAW. Why? I don't know, maybe because it has a sequencer and it's just really easy to make beats on it. Logic, gang. Nah, but in all seriousness, FL Studio is a really good DAW and it's really grown from like since the year 2000 or even before that. I'm not even sure when exactly it started. But FL Studio is a standard so you would never go wrong using FL Studio. Now, FL Studio will cost you $200. So if you're really trying to invest in making music, making beats, and you're really trying to get more serious about this, then FL Studio is a really good choice and it'll cost you $200 lifetime. You have it you purchased it and you're good to go now the DAW that I'm using and I really love this DAW and you can only purchase this DAW if you're using Apple is Logic Pro X Logic Pro X has been really good to me I've never had any issues with it I purchased it for $200 lifetime no monthly cost it's just a one-time $200 from the Apple store and that's it Logic Pro X is a very professional DAW a lot of engineers a lot of producers have used this to make a very big industry songs that you hear now on the radio now GarageBand and Logic Pro X are almost the same thing, except the features of Logic Pro are way, way better. Like, way better. So when you wanna switch from GarageBand to Logic Pro X, you'll be doing a great, great decision. Don't even think about it twice. When you wanna do it, just go ahead and purchase it for 200. You won't regret it. But like I said before, if you really wanna start off making beats, just use GarageBand, try it out, mess with it. You can do almost all the same things you could do on Logic Pro X except all the features that Logic Pro X has. Let's just be serious. But to quickly wrap this up, there's no best DAW. Any DAW that you choose is gonna be the best DAW for you because you're gonna get accustomed to it, you're gonna learn it, and it's gonna be just as good as any other DAW out there. It all really comes down to preference. What do you like most about it? What features do you like most about it? Just like when you choose a phone, some people like Android because of the features it has. Some people like iPhones because of the features that iPhone has. So same thing with the DAW. It just all depends on what you like and what's your preference, but you really won't go wrong Every DAW has the same quality when you bounce it. There's no difference to that. So whoever told you that the DAW matters and that's the quality of the DAW and that the quality of the DAW is better, they lied to you. Sorry, but they did. So the whole point of this video was also to say, if you really wanna start making beats, 
just go ahead and start. Download any DAW that you want. If you're on a budget, download the cheapest one that you can afford or the cheapest one, even if it's for free, Ableton Lite is free, then go ahead and just do that. But to me, these are the top three DAWs that I would go for, Logic, FL Studio, and Ableton. I feel like these are the standard that most people are using. And if you're collabing with somebody, it'll be easy to just bounce a track or it'll be easy to just send the whole template to them as well. So yeah, guys, I hope this video was able to help you guys. I know a lot of people are just so anxious to start making music, start making beats, but they're going crazy because they don't know what DAW to use. Like I said before, don't stress out too much about that. Just get on something and go. The point is to start making music, all right? So that's the end of this video. Stay blessed, stay positive. Bless gang, we out, let's go.